JV's doing well. JV's looking. He's got this nice, nice skin coming. I, I want him to come out as well. I think we should arrange that. I'm going to ask yeah, him after this. Let's we're do gonna dinner. Let's do dinner next week. But we're going to jump into this set right now, Trey. Love you, brother. I'll talk to you in a minute. Let's go. Here we go. Game number one between Kid Flash and Lightning Cam. Lightning Cam, not only birthday boy extraordinaire, but also a phenomenal Diddy Kong main. I mean, this is a guy who's taking some major Ooh. names, but Kid Flash himself has made a couple of upsets in the past. Now, Kirby, on the other hand, fantastic character, but I'm one of the only people that's going to be saying it. Yeah, I'll I've been agree one, there. I'm, I <laughs> love playing this character. Multiple hops, fun recovery. And you have some gimmicks. And here's the thing, is like, yes, this character is not top tier, but damn, is he fun. Fantastic character to play and enjoy, especially if you're somebody who's maybe coming into the game for the first time and you're a young newcomer. Now, we're looking in this, into this control of the center stage, and you'll notice that Kid Flash doing a great job, tr initially tried to, down, to crouch to let the grab whiff over him and down tilt and then reset the situation. But look at these. Nice interactions knowing the down tilt is coming from Diddy. And I haven't seen Cam play in a hot minute, but one thing you'll notice, he's a lot more selective as to when he's actually going to be getting that peel out. This is something that he's been working on in the lab with Dakpo. And overall, it's literally leading to a very well-rounded neutral game overall. We're seeing Cam starting to win the majority of these outcomes. Gets a good back here, but it's not going to be enough to actually close the stock out quite yet. Yeah, but you can tell Cam knows exactly what he's gunning for. And by golly, he's going to get it. He's looking for these fairs. He's looking for these bears. And just simply staying at the edge. Good choice using the peel, forcing out an option from Kid Flash, and there's the finish on that stock. It just feels tough for KF. I mean, he's gotten Cam at that percentage where it can be really tricky to actually get a lot done with Kirby. We see Kirby mains really starting to find the most of their prowess when it comes to the early game, when it comes to early percents. But here, things get a little dicey, and with how Cam's been playing this set so far, it's going to be tough for KF to find the actual KO. Yeah, you're right. And, and, and right now here, this is the tough spots exactly right. And smashes come out pretty well. Back air does particularly well. But honestly, the offstage game, if you can force Diddy offstage, you know the up B is coming. You know the side B is prominent. And if you can cut him off, use those dares, use those back airs, you can end those stocks. Let's see if he gets a chance here. Cam? Off stage, but still the peel in play. And ooh, a bit of a mix-up actually from Cam. Before he would use the barrels, recover instantly. There, a little bit of extra charge, and it was enough to throw KF off. KF, however, platform-assisted throw. Finally going to take the stock out. And this is where KF can actually start to close the gap, Neptune. At these low percents, Diddy can definitely take a lot of damage from Kirby. You're absolutely right, and he can rack up damage. And quick percentage, great forward throw to fair. He gets the stage control, but quickly opting to double jump over. Lightning Cam is working his way back to center stage and trying to maintain that lead. This is what we got to see from KF. He's just continuing to make this comeback. I mean, that was a massive deficit that he had, and now it's within just a couple percent. But just as I say that, Cam, so quick with some grab conversions of his own, starting to widen the gap a bit. The control we saw from Cam just walking around the bottom of the stage, threatening Kid Flash, saying, come on, man. Press a button, I dare you, and I'm going to catch you. Now, one big thing to notice from Cam, he's trying to play very much around the down tilt from KF, and KF is trying to pick up on that, trying to get Cam off and start to find some mix-ups of his own. Oh, there's the down tilt nice. from Cam. Up smash connects, and that's going to be game one in favor of Cam. So a bit of back and forth. Cam started off very strong, but the thing that I got to compliment KF on is the comeback, right? Mm -hmm. We saw him get over the hump which a lot of Kirby's have to deal with. He was able to close the distance, but then Cam just remembered, you know what? My buttons are just better than yours. Yeah, they are in a lot of ways, but we're seeing Latino Heat bringing out the DK. Ooh. So, of course, with DK comes a phenomenal grab game. Cargo throw up air. Cargo throw in general is a big center piece of your game. Uh, but Diddy, on the other hand, has a lot more agility, a lot better normals, and precise spacing can make DK's life feel like hell. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a matchup where one character wins a lot of times, but not for as much with each win, whereas the other character doesn't win as often, but when they win, <laughs> oh man, the damage. It's nuts. Ooh. DK, aka GeefK, definitely that grappler. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to this game. I like that. That's cute. That was good. It's good, right? Was good. I, I figured you'd appreciate it, Street Fighter Nut. <laughs> I see the FGC in your Twitter handle. Oh, yes. But, ooh, look at the conversions. Cam, you, you impressing me, dude. You got the, the quick throw into the raw back air. 
Look at that, the patience, yet again. Cam is so good at that. He just waits, he knows when he's at advantage. It's not just the waits, it's the little shield stops that he's doing. He's able to get a lot of these perfect Ooh. shields, find the counter punches, and find the stocks. Cam now a stock away from advancing in winner's bracket. Cam knew exactly what he was doing with the dash up spot dodge. He knew that DK is so hungry for those grabs that he just played into the hand a little bit and then the punish. Man, I'm so proud of this guy. He's, they grow up so fast. Oh, and they blow up so fast as well. KF again, evening things up. And one big thing that this switch to Donkey Kong will give him is that firepower necessary to close those stocks off consistently. Just sits and waits. There's the fair. Good job holding the shield against that DK punch. That is terrifying. Absolutely. And you, you're seeing KF still getting away with some of these grabs. And Smart, he's not using the up air yet. He wants to make sure it's as fresh as possible. That way, one of these next grabs could be the only grab he needs to send this to game three. And right now, KF just trying to be very mindful of Cam. That peel is in play. He's able to avoid getting hit. Here's the damage. The Here's stage control. Cam did the dash attack. They're guessing that there was a neutral getup, and they would catch one of the uh, uh, one of the neutral frames. Spacing out the back airs. Cam doesn't want to take any unnecessary risks. Great job here. Keeps it simple. Playing really, really careful. Ooh. I like this from Cam. He doesn't want to overextend, but that I may have spoken too soon. The overextension, but Cam, such a quick match, a quick, quick mash there. Must be learning from Dakpo the trade secrets of the oh, mash no. game. But a little over eager, and KF brings it back and that's exactly what makes this matchup so scary as Diddy Kong you get the lead and you just get comfortable you're like I'm winning I'm winning I'm winning and you build on that rage onto Donkey Kong he gets just enough damage on you he gets one of those grabs mm -hmm. and you catch those hands you take those L's and it feels bad yeah. when we think about a momentum perspective right I feel like KF right now after making that comeback of sorts he has the momentum going in, right? He has the energy. And it's really going to be on Cam here to try and take that back. Cam is going to continue to do the same formula that he's been doing up until this point. Smart, patient play. And also knowing how to space those aerials. But the difference needs to be the exclamation point at the end of his finish. Oh. He needs the punctuation. I, I was about to have an exclamation mark for my punctuation when I saw that disgusting wait from KF. I love the idea that he was going for there. Just a little bit careless with the execution. Whoa, Speaking no. of bad execution, Cam, a bit flustered there. He's unable to make the proper recovery. And KF, like we said, momentum clearly in his favor here. Finding Cam. Able to use the better normals here. Just get the damage oh, and whoa. Got through the armor. Great job using the horizontal movement that comes with that side B to avoid the situation entirely. Man, if that timing was just a little bit off, though, that would not have been a fun way to start your last stock. No, it wouldn't. But here's the up throw. Here's the up air. He doesn't get the stock, but he gets stage control. Stays underneath. Cam is just waiting for that second that he can shield poke and then create an opportunity. Okay. Cam has a, has a couple of things going for him here when it comes to this matchup. Uh, like we said, Diddy Kong, amazing neutral game. No, but he's good. When you talk about the normals that Diddy Kong has combined with the size that DK has, it allows Cam to get in these extra couple of stray hits here and there, even when you see KF starting to descend through the platforms. Last stock now on the table, but KF gets a big grab, oh, and no. that's going to be the set. KF making a comeback, making a statement. He's going to be advancing on in the winner's bracket here at Shockwave. Man, Lightning Cam, I left for a couple of months. I come back. You have evolved tremendously. I am super proud of you. Great work. I love coming back to uh, finding surprises while I've.